Hello, I'm Arthur. Welcome to my lab. Today, let's assemble a simple project, a simple SMD project. This is a board that will come in handy when playing with CPLDs and FPGAs. Um, it's a very simple board. It basically has some LEDs with the current limiting resistors and then some uh, pull-up resistors for the rotary encoder. So with this board you can display some status of uh, your circuit and you can also send some information to your circuit using your rotary encoder. Um, so let's assemble this board. This is a very simple board um, and I believe I designed this in 0805 package but I'm using 0603 chips which are a little bit smaller but still uh, manageable. Oh, 403s are, are bad. That's where things are getting really small. So what I do first is I apply some sol solder flux to my PCB. And I tend to put the flux on this on all the pads on the same side. So then I can simply grab my iron and pre tin one of the two pads for each component. So this is for my resistor. Just a tiny little bit of solder. Just so uh, I have something to catch the part with. Just like that. And then once we have that in place Let's mount some parts. I've pre-aligned my LEDs so that they all face in the same direction. And hopefully that's the right direction. And again, this, is, this part is smaller than the footprint, so it looks really tiny on these pads. You can use the easier uh, usable parts that are bigger. But 06 package is uh, still quite manageable and and very convenient. I started with the 08 package because I was afraid of, of the smaller footprint. And then I realized that it's not so bad. And that saves me a lot of space on the PCB. And I was trying to grab one of the LEDs. And it went sideways on me, so now I'm not sure whether its orientation is correct. So I'm going to have to recheck it with my multimeter, make sure that it's facing in the right direction. The part is marked, but I never remember which way around it is, so I prefer to just recheck with my meter. And that was, that beeping, that was my meter reminding me that it's on. That's kind of annoying a little bit, that it keeps beeping at me. But I guess we'll live with that. So my LEDs, now the resistors. And again, these parts should be bigger. I'm just doing this for fun with the uh, smaller parts just to show you that yeah it's doable no big just a little practice And I'll try to come up with the equivalent design using through the hole components so those who don't really want to mess around with uh, SMD 
can also do this board in through the hole but of course it will be a little bit bigger so now I set her the other side of my components and maybe I should have put some flux on on them as well but there I use some resin core uh, solder so that takes care of it anyway and the pads on this PCB are pre-tinned already so that makes it even easier but I think for LEDs just to make sure I am going to add some flux never too much flux All right. Now let's do the LEDs. And if you do use O8 package, which will be bigger, and so the end of the resistor will be right next to LED. Don't worry if we if you make a bridge between the two because there's a trace going between them anyway. So, not a problem. Just reflowing solder here just for the fun of it. Okay. And now, let's pop in the header. I'm using a right angle header here. And I pop it in upside down from the bottom so that I can read all these labels here and sorry if the image is is jumpy in the video uh, that's just my microscope camera that isn't really the best and sometimes the, the video just gets jerky like that it's having trouble keeping up with the frame rate but hopefully you get the idea very simple job and don't be shy to rotate the board to an angle which makes it easier for you to solder it it's all about comfort for you the more comfortable you are the the better quality the PCB will be so I have the connector here I have my LEDs now time to pop in the rotary encoder and it goes right here so this is the encoder And I'll show you the assembled PCB because I see that this video isn't really working out too good. But basically you stick your encoder in, in the mounting holes, flip it around, and I'm running out of space here uh, under my microscope, so I'm not sure if, uh, if you'll be able to see that and whether I'll be able to actually solder this correctly. Let's see. So far, so good. And again, this is a very simple PCB. So if you're looking to get started in SMD, give this a try. And uh, it's really, really simple to assemble this PCB. Perfect starter. And then I'll have another project for you with... Uh, SMD CPLD so you'll be able to assemble that to yourself but I think we'll start with through the hull CPLD and that's all that's the assembled PCB here's my rotor encoder 
some resistors and LEDs and the connectors and you can see that the connectors actually let me rotate this uh, this is upside down this way so you have your A and B pins of the rotary encoder the push button switch of the encoder your ground and 3.3 volt or whatever voltage I just marked it 3.3 but of course you can use uh, 5 volt if you're working with 5 volt circuit and then these pins are for the uh, LEDs driving the LEDs so LEDs are tied through the resistors to 3.3 uh, volt so if I put voltage on my 3.3 here um, I, I just have my meter in uh, diode testing mode right now so I put a probe on this pin and then touch the <coughs> LED pins and you should see the LEDs flash alright well luckily I soldered all the LEDs correct way around that's a good sign uh, all the other components it doesn't matter which way around so we're good we have a usable board and let me turn off this microscope thingy and then we'll switch to my usual setup and I'll show you a quick demo of how you can use an encoder like this. Here's the assembled encoder that I just started. This is how it looks like. And I hooked it up to one of my CPLD boards. Uh, this will be topic of another video in the series. We'll actually assemble a different board first, but then we'll get to this one, which is a very simple, again, SMD uh, assembly. This is a fairly large sized large pin device. It's a lattice chip, so it's, it's easy to assemble this board once you get started with SMDs. So we'll get to that. But right now I'm just using this to test my encoder demo its uh, capacity and so the encoder is just connected through the wires um, into the pins of my CPLD here's the positive and then on the other side I have this little display board which I might also publish this is just a simple tester you know, a bunch of LEDs connected to pins and you can monitor the uh, status of, of your circuit so I just plug in power supply and my encoder is already showing status and you can see the pulses here light blinking as I rotate my encoder and on this side I should see yeah counting so the count is increasing and now I flip to the other side all the way across so yeah, as I rotate my encoder, my CPLD is counting the pulses, counting the steps. So you can use this to uh, count something, adjust something, and that's actually the second circuit that I'm about to show you. And also, I'm sending the signal, so I'm, I'm sending the pulses to my CPLD, and from my CPLD, I drive the LEDs. So as I turn the encoder, the position of the LEDs is changing here so that's another way I can indicate uh, what my current count is so that's a little test device and here's another one a little bit bigger and fancier this is actually uh, this chip is about twice the capacity of the the other chip that I just showed you this is an Altera device and this is a really old school um, package so that's why it's so huge there is another package that is much smaller that has the same capacity and actually I'll show you something else in a, in a moment but first let's get um, done with this so this is my actually programming interface cable I just hook it up to my programmer which uh, my dongle which I showed you in one of the last videos um, here's another copy of the same encoder that I just assembled 
and here's my ignore the, these resistors here and capacitors they don't matter they are not part of the circuit but here's my display board so I'm going to apply the power and let's see what happens uh, not much happens because I think this battery is really weak let's hook it up to uh, my lab power supply Seven volts should be good. There we go. That's better. All right. So you can see the digits on the display, and as I rotate my encoder, the digits increase. And actually, this um, this model here is re-implementation of my. RC uh, control board. This guy right here, which you've seen in another video, which this has uh, a much smaller chip than this one, obviously, but actually the chip inside of here is a, a little bit bigger capacity as far as the number of gates as uh, this chip. So, much smaller chip, a little more capacity but they both do the same thing so basically I detect the pulses coming from my encoder I send them to my chip, process them drive the output to the display and also use this tester to count the pulses you see how the LEDs blink here and it goes only to 99% uh, I'm not sure why I used the three digit display, the two digit would be good enough. I don't know what I was thinking, but anyway, this is just a test just to see um, how this circuit will work, to demo how you can put something like this together. And this will be the first CPLD board that I will demo, actually, because this is all through the hull components. So for anyone afraid of SMD assembly, you can easily assemble this all through the hull, um, really easy. So once you assemble this, you, you can play uh, with uh, CPLDs, get started on them. And again, this encoder will come in very handy because I, as you can see, I can adjust the numbers. If I hold like that, if I tap the switch, uh, I actually enable the pulse going out to the uh, servo or whatnot, and then if I push and hold, I zero out my display. So that's the functionality, and it's it's all being done by the CPLD in the hardware. It's not a microcontroller. It's not software. It's in the hardware. So that's what you can do with a encoder. Go build one, and then I'll see you in the next video about building the CPLD.